Another geometric sequence example. This time, though, they want us to find the first term and the common ratio. We're given the third term and the eighth term. So very similar, if we think back to the previous lesson with arithmetic sequences, they gave us a couple terms and they wanted us to find the nth term, find the first term, find the common difference. So very similar here. Uh, so they like to, I say they, the, you know, the textbook writers, they like to generate a system of equations and solve. I like to just take a little more direct route. So here's our general equation. Let's just think about it. a sub n equals the first term times our common ratio to the n minus 1 power. So that's great if I know the first term. I know r, you just plug things in. Well, in this case, I know the third term and the eighth term. So I could set third term equal to this, eighth term equal to that. I'd generate two equations and solve. But let's just relate these directly. Wouldn't the eighth term be the third term times r to the fifth power? Where did that come from? Well, I don't know the first term, but I know the third. And so if I multiply it by r to the fifth, 8 minus 3 is 5, n minus 1, n minus 1, right? So that's how we can come up with that. Well, now we can solve for r. Let's go ahead and do that. In fact, let me just solve this real general here. If I divided my a3 over, so eighth term over third term would equal r to the fifth. And then to get r, of course, you would do the fifth root of both sides. And so r would equal eighth term divided by third term, fifth root of that. I'm going to write it to the one-fifth power. That's how I'm going to put it in my calculator. So that'll be easier anyway. So now let's just substitute things in, and we could get that. So let me come back over here to this side of the paper. So r equals the eighth term, which is 1 over 625, over the third term, which is 5, all to the, whoops, not the one-third, to the one-fifth power. Now here's where calculator comes in. Let's just plug this in our calculator. So 1 over, in fact, let me do it this way, 1 divided by 625 divided by 5. And I'm going to raise that to the one-fifth power. And it is one-fifth. So my r is one-fifth. Well, I'm still not done. I need to figure out the first term, but now I can relate these other things. So if the third term is five, let's relate it, because the third term would be the first term times r squared, right? So let's plug things in. So five equals the first term times one-fifth squared. Now we just need to solve. So 5 equals the first term times 1 over 25. And the first term would equal 5 divided by 1 over 25, which would equal 125. So we did what they want. We've got our r. We've got our first term, and then I'm going to write it. They didn't ask me to, but I'm going to write the nth term for this one, because usually we would want it. 125 times 1 fifth to the n minus 1. That's the nth term. Now that I've generated that, we could go and solve for anything that they could throw at us.